Well, hello all. Another quick video. This time talking about network sharing and how we will be able to get that working in any media players like Kodi or VLC, Vimeo, etc. And I'll keep it very short. All you have to do is you need to put the movies in a folder. In my case, I'm just taking this as an example. Go to properties. There's an option called sharing. So before you do anything, go to Network and Sharing Center. Once you are at Network and Sharing Center, make sure all these are enabled. Go to Public Network, turn on Discovery, and go to All Networks. Keep the public folder sharing, password protected sharing on. These are something you have to do. And once you do this, you can then go to uh, the folder you want to share. Just click on Share. In my case, I'm going to change it to Everyone. I'm going to add. You can keep it at read or read slash write based on your preference. If you want to delete a file from another uh, computer and all that, you need the right permission. And in other cases, it's just read. So I'll just click on share. The folder is now shared. And this is my network, uh, you know, root and what we call as path. So you'll be able to use this in Kodi. And I will show you how to do that in Kodi. Now, one thing that I missed is your user ID. In my case, you need a user ID and password. So it's a password protected computer. And this is my user ID. It's work underscore HK. And I'll show you how this is useful in Kodi because this is required. So once you're in Kodi, you will have to go to enter file selection and then you'll have to add videos. Once you click on add videos, you will have to browse and add network location. Keep your protocol in W SMB. I'm sorry, it's SMB. Your server name is going to be Vibe backward slash bean. So this is in my system. You will have a similar path which you have to type it in here. So I'm just typing it through. It's Vibe backward slash bean. If you have a, a two or three letter word, you'll have to type it full. Imagine Mr. Bean, Mr. Space Bean. You'll have to type it as wipe backward slash Mr. Space Bean or a similar way. So once you type it, all you have to do is you have to just enter and uh, follow through the process. So once you add it, you'll have to then add your username. This is which I showed. In my case, it was work underscore HK. That was my username. If your computer has a similar uh, setup where you need a password, you'll have to type in that particular username and password. If you don't have a password set up already, you just do me a favor, go ahead and uh, you know set one up. It'll be easier because uh, without a password, it is uh, really tricky to get inside Kodi and, you know, enable all the network without the password. So I uh, just go ahead and create a user ID along with a password. So in my case, work underscore HK was the username. I've just given a password of 0000. That's it. Once you click on OK, your file should be visible. All you have to do is you have to just go inside and I uh, add it as a path. You click on OK, it would have added. You just click on OK, it will directly be saved. And uh, you can select based on movies. In my case, this is movies. And you can either select uh, the library or keep it just local. You know, I'm just going to keep it local for my preference. And once you click OK, that's pretty much it. All the episodes or whatever shows you have put in will be visible now. Well, there you go. It's working perfectly fine. And if you have any queries, do let me know in the comments and I'll be able to help you. But that's pretty much it. And I'll see you guys in another one.